so today we're going to the labs um, to see how we can make crystals and other interesting things. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make pure 99% cannabis crystals. Now it doesn't matter if you make THC or CBD, it's the same process. Here we're making CBD right now in the lab. The process is very simple. You need a tube, you need some sand, and you need some liquid. Take the extract, put it through the column, put some liquid inside, apply some pressure, and there you go. You have to wait. Now if you don't apply pressure, you're gonna wait for many days. But if you have the pressure, it goes very fast. You need to do it a couple of times in order to get the purity. So to get this pure, beautiful crystals, sometimes up to five times, depending on the raw material you have. Now we have been working very hard to find a way to do this on a coffee machine, but I can tell you that we haven't figured that out yet. However, I think um, we're gonna work hard on it. Um, and this method, you know, it's not that simple because you can't buy this everywhere in any supermarket. It's very specialized. If we look at it in a perspective of CBD and THC, first, this will be CBD and this will be THC. There's a small difference in the molecules, so CBD will come out fir first and then THC will come out. So it's very simple. Just to optimize, you have a column, okay? Inside the column, you put some very fine sand now you put the mixture of different molecules on top of the sand, apply some pressure and the material, the sand material will be the filtration material and will separate small molecules from big molecules because the small molecules will travel faster through the sand and the big molecules will travel much slower and some will not even travel if they're too big. Okay, and this is chromatography, very simple. I'm going to show you how it works with a color. So what happens when you put the extract through? Uh, the extract, you know, it's not so colorful, you're not gonna see that much, but I'm gonna put some color inside so you better can see how it travels through the column. Now we take the color. And we apply it in our chromatography machine. Put the lid on apply the pressure so the question is where do the crystals appear because they will be diluted in your liquid then you have to put it on the coffee machine to evaporate and you will have your pure crystals in the jar. Simple. So let's look at the big machine. This machine here is the same as the tube you saw upstairs, just much bigger and the pressure system is much bigger here. But the principle is the same. You take the extract, this time you take more of it, put it into our container and put it through the system where we have the sand, the small sand, yeah? And then you get most likely pure cannabinoids out, in our case pure CBD, after doing this process several times. Um, next time I'm going to show you how we do it on big scale in real production. And that's big, it's even bigger than this one. Because to make kilos you need volume. If we just have to make a few grams maybe this one will work. But we need kilos, so we need a bigger factory for that. We tried to make this process simpler and we tried also to develop a method of how to do this in a coffee machine. Um, still not working. We're working on it hard, I'll tell you that. And if any of you know how to do it, well, give us some hints because we have a tough time doing it, all right? But anyway, once we have the solution of how to do it with a coffee machine, the pure 99% crystals, we will share it with you. Until then, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.